Hello, hello. Welcome back to Ravenport. I'm Hitman82. I'm joining uh, Rick. Hello, Rick. Howdy, howdy. And we got Fad Man here. Hello, Fad. Hello, hello. And it's just we three today. So what are you fellas working on today? Well, we're kind of doing field prep because obviously we harvested last last episode. So Rick's doing fertilizing and he's got some fertilizing contracts for when he's done with this, which will be like two and a half seconds time. And <laughs> I'm cultivating, which is going to take me probably the episode <laughs> and a little bit more. And uh, what are you doing, Hitman? Aside, from, I oh. mean, you, you usually have your minions to do stuff. So uh, what actually are I mean, you going to do? I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to do some work. Darn that squirrely going on vacation. <sighs> Tell you. I, d I didn't, I didn't think you allowed vacation. It. I don't. <laughs> just went. I think yeah. he and Brewer are in cahoots. They're in cahoots. Ah. Is that is that a nice place? Crazy. Yep. Is that, is that, that, apparently, they've gone, on, they've gone on vacation to cahoots. It, it's better than here, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So a little bit of spring, just tidying up here on the fields, and then uh, off to I've got a uh, big harvest number field number eight. Number and eight? since I can't get squirrely to do it, I guess I have to do it myself. So you, 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 you've, you've got to learn to do that properly. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do that, it's got to be number H, and then you've got to belch. Oh, uh, okay. You've got to do it in the Barney um, voice be... as well. All right. I have no idea. Do what you, you're know, do you not remember that? That was um, nope. Barney did a pop song, and it was number eight, belch, number eight, belch. <laughs> um, I think the Barney Simpsons. was after my time. No, it's The Simpsons. Oh, oh, The Simpsons. Okay, that Barney. Yes. Ah, jeez. Okay, I still didn't get the reference because it's been so long. And they, he, he, they did a music video for it, and it was in black and white and stuff. So it's weirdness. You mean weirderness? Weirderness. Well, it's like it's the wilderness, kind of... only it's Simpsons. I'd, I'd say it's weird, except for the fact that just saying two words and and making bodily noises is not exactly <laughs> uncommon territory for, <laughs> <laughs> for, for some things. There we go. That's good enough. Off to the harvester. The harvester. Harvester. Oh, it's so excited. Today's Saturday and on Monday, uh, the first thing in the morning, the installers are bringing quartz countertop to install. Ooh. So I bet that looks busy, busy this weekend. Oh yeah, so I'll get some pictures up for that. I haven't put any pictures on Instagram in a little while. I guess I better get going on that. Been busy, 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 and also Minecraft. Yeah, I Internet. saw. Saw a post. It was at, it wasn't on Twitter. It was on Instagram. But it's kind of. It was about Twitter and Instagram. It was it was someone posting. I don't know why anyone over 25 would even be on Twitter or Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm asking honestly, why are you here? And it's kind of, well, we were here before you were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were in diapers when we were here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bless the heart. Yeah. Well, all I can say to that is bulletin boards. Indeed. Long, 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 long. And, uh, and 2,400 baud. Mm -hmm. And away we go into that again. Yep. Oh well. And it's 2,400 and I'm bored. Oh. <laughs> boring baud. It's a boring amount of baud. Alright, into this big beast. One of these days I'm going to have to clean it. Oh, I realized after last episode the header was just about dead. Oh, was, what, you hadn't maintained it? That's right. So I had to do some some maintenance. Oh, actually, I guess. Do, 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 do. Darn it, drive control. Why oh, you must you? They're, they're pretty heavy on the troll for your drive control, it seems. Yeah, but none of us use it. The only reason you have I know. it is to make it easier for the people that aren't here. <laughs> well, want to make them feel welcome when they come back, you know. They have to listen to us crying, but, you know, some people enjoy that. I think that's well, why they wanted it in the first place. I won't, be, I won't be crying. I'll just do Megatron voice at them. No, no, no. Only to them, not to me. Yeah, I said at them. 
Okay, good, good. Are your ears working today? Not very well. I'll Apparently turn my not. volume up. Apparently there we not. go. Jeez. Can I say it's um the harvester's fault? Yeah. What am I eating up here? Oh, barley. Have allergies. Or have allergies. It's the harvester's fault. It's lag. It's allergies. It can be all of it. So that would get to see the neighbors working too. Fat over there, up and down the field. And where are you? Over on field 12, Rick? No, I'm up here on 16, 17. He'll be coming, he'll come, be coming back in a minute. Ah, oh, I see him. Hee <laughs> hee, we see you too. I see, that's why you guys are driving away, I suppose. No, we're following no, the field. We, we, we're not going <laughs> fast enough if we were driving away from you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lift tools, run for road. Dang it. Take the speed limiter off. 100 miles an hour, please. So Rick's like, no, that's no hit, man. We wouldn't do that. And Vad's like, well, we're, it's just we haven't done that. We definitely would do it. Quite a difference there. I, I think given the amount of people, even guests, that you have decided to ram with whatever vehicle you're driving, can you really blame us? Rick, do I run into you with my harvester? There's been a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I don't that think there's anyone out of the way. that records with us that you haven't rammed with a vehicle of some description. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Maybe Stocko, but I haven't recorded with him in years, so exactly. there you go. That was back before I was a jerk, maybe? Or not as much at one. Maybe it's a little shyer. <laughs> oh little. dear. Maybe you were like I was when I first kind of started talking to him. A little bit starstruck. Star <laughs> and I was like, oh, Stocko, he's alive! Alive! I haven't spoken to him for ages. Yeah, me Bless him. We're gonna have to okay, do a I occasionally send him a point. message and say, hope everything's alright. Love to you and the family. Yeah, we'll have to do a big marathon one of these days. The 24-hour marathon is pretty tough to schedule, so we'll have to do a shorter one. 12 hours or something. Mm. Then everybody gets to participate for some of it, and because it's still long enough. Yeah, I think it's... Um, I think my difficulty now is obviously, if I try and do 24 hours... What do I do about the dog? <laughs> she needs well, you to, don't do 24 hours straight. She needs to be fed. She needs to be walked. Mm. She needs to kind of go out and do things. Like, um, you, she, get, she needs her daddy time. Yeah, yeah. And oh, you need yeah. your sleep. Yeah, uh, yeah I have gotten Not a little bit older. No, no, no. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yep. I need my sleep to be um, relatively compass mentis. I crashed early last night, got up late this morning, I actually slept for about eight hours. I normally get about six hours sleep, so once in a while I just have to catch up. Yeah. Okay, now, where's my truck? Well, this gray truck sitting in the woods, how many months has that been sitting there? Mm -hmm. hey, More probably. Hey, to try. Yeah. Almost. Ah, oh, darn it, drive control. Why you gotta be such a troll? It's not even called that anymore, is it? Mm -hmm. It's called Thorn in the Side mod. <laughs> well, it didn't get very far before this thing was full of barley. I think I'm gonna be making a few trips. I should go back and get my trailer then. Um, no, I'm not, because the trailer was a pain. I'm not going to get the trailer. Uh, why was the trailer a pain? With the truck. For uh, some reason, uh, the the trigger points just are really finicky when I've got the trailer on the back of the truck. So I end up, I have to go back, dump the back of the truck off, and then drive over the thing with the trailer on, and it works. 
No, I'm probably just doing it wrong, but anyway. It'll look like less of a derp if I do it this way, maybe. A little less. Knowing you, I'd say you're definitely doing it wrong, but... Yeah, it's alright. That's just helpful, you know, trying to be useful, you know. What the heck's going on? Yeah, I didn't recognize it. I know, I know. Now, I wonder if, um, in real life, would you put the... I guess you wouldn't put the header down to stabilize the harvester while you're dumping grain off to the side, because it doesn't really sit on the ground very much, does it? It doesn't Should sit do. on the ground at all. <laughs> yeah. If it sit on the ground, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, well, I just I thought it up. I saw runners on them before, but I guess maybe that was older models or something. Or just in case you screw up and it has a little skid blade underneath it or something, I don't know. A lot of times they will have skid plates because ground isn't perfectly flat. Mm hmm And you don't want those those tines and stuff digging in the ground. So. No. No, not rocks aren't so good for them. No. Or dirt Dirt's for that either. matter. Well, dirt just little rocks. And bits of bugs, so there's a bit of chitin there and Yeah. Don't know where I'm going with that. Take it away, Rick. Or say more. Huh? Yeah, Rick, please, please say something to stop him talking. Jeez. Like that <laughs> ever works. That is not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, Rick, you so mean. No, I'm not. Tell the truth. It's reality. Yep. There you go. Oh, so it's, dose it's, of reality. Not that, it's not that you're not gonna talk, it's just that Hitman's never gonna shut up. Okay. Well, <laughs> if, if I do, then it's just watch and farm some. If you do, then we'll expect an invitation to the service. Oh no. You're not coming to my service. Okay. Now, when I go, just, I don't know, make a big beach bonfire of it and torch me and then, I don't know, throw me in the ocean. Whatever's Fair left. Enough. There Fair you enough. go. Cheap and environmentally friendly. If we're going to torch you, can we barbecue stuff on top of you? Well, why wouldn't you? Exactly. I mean, why waste the fire? Exactly. Make it a party. Celebrate the passing. Excellent. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I'm all okay for celebration. I'm all for yep. celebration. I said that then... was a while ago, actually. Quite a macabre subject, but I've always said, yeah, celebrate the fact that I was here rather than think about anything else. We'll celebrate the fact you're gone. <laughs> well, you can He's celebrate gone, the fact that is gone. gone. Other people might be kind of pleased that I was here at all, so... Oh. There, there may be one or two of those. I was going to say name three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, such, oh, there'll such be a few of us, Fed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know I can always count on you, Rick. Um, but Mr. Sensitivity here. <laughs> Hey, as long, long as I can attend by not leaving my chair, then we're all set. I'll be there. <laughs> oh, but if it if involves putting pants on, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm not getting out of my chair. Oh, dear. Such joy. Well, if any luck, is a long, long time before any of us need to think about that stuff. Yeah, hopefully. You never know, I guess, but hopefully that's... Why well, worry about what you can't change? Well, Ooh, why not change what you fall. can't worry about? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Worry is a complete waste of time. Mm-hmm. I'm re reading some interesting books at the minute about some... Um, Why aren't you playing farm sim? We're here recording. Sitting there reading books. <laughs> well... To be quite so frank, you, you, just playing farm sim with you isn't enough of a challenge. You know? Really? Well, I can. I got a truck full of grain that says I can make it more of a challenge. 
Absolutely, but still. Slightly more. There were some rough places over here that I've tried to okay. fix. Okay, that's fine. But I, f I forgot to bring the plow and straighten things back up. That's yeah, okay. Hmm. You're the boss. Not that hitman. Who's the boss? Rick's the boss. Where am I taking this stuff? Nobody knows. I need a, even I need a Rick over here. <laughs> Want to buy a Rick. Since Morty's away on vacation. So, yeah, that's wonderful, but unfortunately, there are no Ricks for sale, and even if there were, there's no price tag because they are priceless. Oh, I see. I was thinking about vacation, and I realized, you know what, there's nowhere I'd re really want to go rather than stay in my yard. Fair enough. When you live in, hit when you live in hit Utopia, you don't want to go anywhere. Ah, oh, that there you go, you've got his address now, folks. Utopia. <laughs> Hitopia. Ah. Uh, Is that down oh, the road from Utopia? A little bit, yeah. Look out, Ravens, get off the road. As long as it's next door to Estopia, because then it could be confusing for people. What are you talking about? Never in your mind. I won't. If you didn't get it, I'm not all. explaining it to you. Okay, good. So, uh, the movie Dark Crystal, did you ever see that way, way back in the day? Uh-uh. Well, I started to watch it here uh, a little while ago, and uh, couldn't watch it. I mean, I, I loved it when I was a kid, and I watched it now, I was like, I can't watch this. I don't know. Didn't like it. Fair enough. Bizarre. Most of the movies I watched as a kid, I still do watch when I want to. You, yeah, same here. So. That you ruined a childhood memory. Yeah. Gosh, I hope this is right. Am I at the right place? Nope. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Well, it didn't give me any money unless it gave it to you. Uh, nope. Nope. All right, we're good then. I think I think that was right. It'll tell you where to take it. It does, but I'm not all that smart, so you know I'm <laughs> self-smarted. I'm self-smarted. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Where am I going? This way, I guess. The wrong way. Right way for a good time, but not the right way for getting back to the harvester. <laughs> Go over here, park up, and and realize, well, it's seven thirty. I guess I better get back to work. <laughs> I was I was waiting for you to say, oh, it's seven thirty. I best best knock off for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, at least go to like I don't know eleven. I was going to say 7.40. <laughs> I think it can be. Just about break time, though. Take a break after 10 minutes of work, because you don't want to wear yourself out, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dear. Such joy. Do, 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 do. Poor UC. I saw on Twitter he uh, he was um, he's got uh, tinnitus. Was it tinnitus? I tinnitus? forget which one it was. Anyway, he um, and he he's uh, milling slab wood, so he's probably using I don't know a chainsaw mill or something. And he, <laughs> he's in, you know, imagine he's in some pain. Yeah. Ouch. What was it? It's tendonitis or something. I can't remember. So it's oh, probably in his elbow. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you said. I don't recall. Well, tinnitus would be ears, wouldn't it? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, well then, yeah, it's it. tendonitis would be kind of yeah, tendons, inflammation. If I'd sat and thought about it for a minute, I would have realized that. But you know, sitting and thinking ain't my strong suit. 
Well, not when Dumpling infirms him, or anything else for that matter. Or just when you're sitting. Yes. Yes, maybe, you're right. Maybe you should try standing. Stand but and deliver. Y you have to get out of your chair <laughs> to do that. Uh, yeah, we go back to that 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 problem. I'll, I'll yeah. do anything, just don't make me get out of my chair. That's right. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I do lots of stuff. This morning I was um, cutting holes in my new island to put in um, um, OLED and OLED and a couple switches. And so I'll be going to work on that some more when we're done here. It's busy, busy. Mm -hmm. Exciting. So exciting to get out of the kitchen after living in this house for, you know, 15 years. And we still got plywood floors and, and the countertop is earthened plywood and yeah, I mean, it served the purpose, and it's still better than a lot of people would have uh, throughout the world, so can't complain too much, but finally got around to getting a real kitchen, so. Hmm. Ooh, cabinets with doors. That'll be nice. <laughs> drawers. Yeah. I know, like, drawers. I don't know, remember the last time we had drawers. Little plastic, those plastic... Uh, drawer totes you know the ones with wheels that so just took the wheels off and put the thing on a shelf and there you go there's the silverware or the utensil drawer you know. got you work with what you, yeah work with what you got well we started with the our island was a table saw so <laughs> moved up from there <laughs> that could get dicey mm. well you don't run the saw when you're. Of course, that would have been. We should have. We could have used it, I suppose, for cutting up meat and stuff. But no, we didn't. How many teeth per inch do I need for cutting up beef? Oh, oh, oh! oh exciting! Something's exciting happening. Something's no, happening, it's, Daddy. It's not exciting. Sammy, come on. <laughs> it's enough. Leave it. Let's see a squirrel. Squirrel! Uh, <laughs> Poor fat. Come on. Uh, just get come a tennis on. ball, throw it against the wall a couple times, so come running. It, leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to you. There's a hedge, hedgehog in the front garden. Oh. Get a picture. So. <laughs> leave oh my alone. gosh. <laughs> leave him alone. Come on, you. <laughs> But he's trespassing dead. Yeah. The question is, Pat, are you still at your computer or did you wander off? I was in the lounge. So. Oh, good stuff. <sighs> That's the beauty of wireless headset. You wander off. Yeah. Keep your recording going. There you go. No, you go, you go there. You stay back. You wanted the pictures. I've got to go back for the picture now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could pause for the cause. I don't know. Just everybody who's watching, just pretend you're looking at a picture of a hedgehog in his yard. Maybe he'll put it in his video. Well, just about full. Just about full. There we go. Oh, oh, ran over the crop a little bit. No, oh, that's not my crop. Okay, right, we're back. <laughs> <sighs> Not sure the picture's oh, okay. gonna be very good because it's quite dark, but Did yeah. you forget we're recording? I did not forget. Unfortunately all the time she's barking, that's less relevant than anything else. Why oh, she wasn't barking mad. Well she um, was she was annoyed. I don't know about mad. <laughs> Sorry, can't remember how to That was her trespasser alert. Well, that was her. I want to get at it. I want to kind of claw it and bite mm -hmm. it. And... It looks tasty. Because that's what she does with them in the back garden. Mm, hedgehogs. See, the only experience I've had it with a hedgehog is it's a chocolate truffle covered in chocolate. Mm, <laughs> hedgehog. Yeah, One of my favorite chocolates. Make the purdies make some here. Make I was so I was concerned because, of course, when I took. When I got the house, I kind of got rid of a lot of the 
shrubs and stuff that they kind of they like to have overgrowth and stuff and I don't like to have that but they still visit they still wander through the garden and stuff so it's kind of doesn't seem to have affected them that negatively We're, we've got a real problem with uh, raccoons here right now too many raccoons uh, here on the little island probably because every time a, a cougar swims over here we'll uh capture it and release it somewhere else so it's about the only predator other than all the dogs that are running loose in the night mm. Go. some dogs run wild here at night because people just open the door let them out for the night just oh, because well. they're critters doesn't mean they're stupid mm. there's no cougars here where am I going to stay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm being guarded now <laughs> she's, not, she's not on her bed She's literally at the door of the office. She's on guard. She's doing a good job, Dad. Yeah, she's a good girl. But like I said, she won't let she won't let it go because whenever she's out there um, in the back garden, she's going after it. I try and call her off, and she I have to go and pick her up and carry her back indoors. Which is Pretty much this what is I had to my do property, and I'm not sharing with nothing. Yeah, she, she doesn't want to share. It. Well, she she might let Nanny and Granddad visit and whatnot, but most other people is kind of no. Nope, you get away. Which that's kind of what you have a dog for. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I have a uh, food delivery, I don't need to. I don't need to quest. I don't need the tracker. I just <laughs> <laughs> wait for the dog to bark. <laughs> oh dear! I think the most annoying one was one um, where I was expecting a delivery from Amazon, and uh, I kind of they'd actually got the tracking on it, so it's going. You are like the next delivery. And it's going, okay, so get the dog put away so that she's kind of not going to kind of run to the door and do anything. And then they just never showed up. It's kind of, what they'd done is they'd, they'd thrown it in a porch um, two doors up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tagged it as though they'd actually given it to the resident. So I ended up phoning them and kind of complaining and Turns out when when my neighbors got home, it was sat in their porch. <laughs> you lazy so and so's. Yep. But I mean, I say that, but it, it's more the fact that they're just under so much time pressure for everything that they have to like, do. Like, like everybody in every job everywhere. Yeah, but. Not everyone in every job everywhere has the pressure of trying to get through traffic, trying to wait for someone to answer the door or not. And let's face it, as as consumers, when we get stuff delivered, we're not exactly thinking about the delivery person, are we? Uh, uh, so most people, I suppose. I have a sign that I made. Um, we were getting a delivery in the winter time, and I hadn't cleared my driveway, so I put a sign out at the end not to attempt the driveway and a phone number to call. That when they basically showed up, I would go to the end of the driveway through the snow and meet them. Mm -hmm. So, which is fair. And I had that all made. Um, no, but but not that's... a lot. Not everyone actually is as considerate. I don't think. Yeah. And certainly, there's uh, been there's been news headlines and stuff here about kind of the conditions of of work for delivery people. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a like. Even baby delivery people. Yep, like a doctors and the nurses and everybody's overworked and underpaid. Uh, okay, there we go. We can actually move again now. That must have been right. auto, that must have been an auto save, I guess. I hadn't noticed. Uh, we are about nearing the end of our time, though. Uh -huh. So uh, maybe it was the end of time lag. It could be. Because, you know, we've got that synchronized. Well. Synchronize your lag timers. Yeah. You missed the memo. Oh. 
sorry. Yeah, you're not sorry. No, not really. <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let us let us wrap things up here. So one of you guys can start. So one of you pick among yourselves this time. See you later, folks. <laughs> Take care, folks. And we'll see you next time. Make sure you hit like, you enjoy what I saw, and Fat and I both have a, a view to see, so make sure you check those out too. Bye for now. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. -bye.